So we have 55% Super Saiyan Bardock here, or Warrior in Black, Super Saiyan, Dark Dragon Ball Boost. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This guy is easily going to be the worst one. Uh, also, he's not like entirely Link 1, but like the boosts are so minimal that it just a, it won't matter. It's like literally 0.5% <laughs> if we even have those links active. But anyways, the reason, or the thing I was trying to talk about is the fact that this team sucks against this event. Um, we've seen it multiple times now. It's just not not a good team to take up against this fight and more often than that we're gonna die so just throwing that out there before we do go ahead and die <laughs> if we can get hit with each single attack here without vegeta dodging them I'm so why? At this point, what I just need to do is just get a Vegeta who doesn't have that 5% dodge built into him. I need to actually just take it out because we could have had the revive boost, but now we can't revive. Like that, it, it literally just hurts us to have that happen. Whatever, I guess. What was it? Third third attack, though? So, yeah. We know now from attack 3 beyond, we have to watch out for a super attack. My Gohan's only one dupe, by the way. Just a heads up. He's going to take a lot from the first normal attack, I believe. Because uh, Gohan's defense is just not there. Not it. It's not it. Oh, he actually, I think that was like a uh, three dodge. Ow. So, uh, we died. Or not? If we don't get super attacked in slot 2, it might actually be fun. So, Janemba is going to be below 70% HP. We're going to get an additional super attack guaranteed because Bardock did the attack lower. So, 6 million. Okay, pretty good. Or, not the attack or defense or excuse me. It's 100,000. To be 55%, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I've definitely seen worse. Then again, it is double Super Saiyan Trio support. Yeah, it should be fun. As long as Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta doesn't get hit immediately right at the start, I think we actually might survive this. Like, we just need the first and second attack to be normals, and the third attack to be a super. And I think we can live. This both helps and hurt us, because it gives us more defense boost, but it's just going to make Janemba, you know, that much more stronger. Uh, can you 5 dodge again, Vegeta? No, no you cannot. You know, that wouldn't have been a problem if you didn't 5 dodge the first time you asked for one. But no, 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 no. Could have had the revive proc there. Could have been able to get into the next rotation and show Bardock. But no. Of course. Okay, look, we've gotten the same rotation again. <laughs> that is quite comical.
That's fine. 60% damage reduction guard. He's not dead, but yeah, he's fine. Is there another super a bird coup? I don't want to use bird coup though. I was going to say, is there another Super Saiyan's revival unit? But it's only bird coup. I guess we could go into um the fist. We could do the fist next turn. If we get good orb changing out, I'll, I'll consider I'll consider uh standby. Or if like all the attacks are in salt one, I'll I'll also stand by. We want to get, again, Janemba below 70% HP here. So Gohan needs to carry real quick. He's going to have a 70% chance to do an additional super attack, then a guaranteed additional afterwards, and then a hidden potential afterwards. Okay, so we are going to get three supers, guaranteed. That's good. This is obviously the second one. Third one's coming in right now. And now we have put Janemba below... 70% HP, so Bardock is going to have 55% damage reduction. Tech Vegeta, why would you do that? You need 24 key or else you don't get... You need 24 key. You, you need... You need 24 key or else you don't get... <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna have to do this. Like, there is no other option other than praying that Tech Vegeta somehow doesn't die here. Which he will. But it's genuinely not his fault. Additional super attack. There we go. Super attack. We do have any potential we could use. Whoa. 160,000 with half of his passive proc. You could even argue over half because of the fact of the attack and defense lowering additional super attack guaranteed there. I was expecting it. I was expecting it. Can we just have one time Vegeta gets all the hits? He takes all the hits that he needs to have his revive up. We get the next rotation out. And we don't have to worry about a super attack. And what the hell is this rotation? Are you kidding me? I need Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta 7 slot. Oh wait, yeah, we would just die here. What am I doing? <laughs> Bardock would just die. He... We can't bring the enemy below 70% HP on this rotation. And we would lose because of it. Same exact answer. No Tech Gogeta would put up a good fight. <sighs> I'll jump cut. We'll come back when we actually get good rotations with Bardock's on in the first rotation. While we don't have the trio support, 
We're gonna have tons of trio support next rotation. We just gotta hope and we're gonna be able to revive which whatever. It's all you get batters, it's all I get care. <laughs> But we should be able to bring at least Janemba down to uh, to seventy percent HP. Or we could just miss the seventy percent chance to do an additional super attack and lose out on like half of our offensive potential. Tech Vegeta dies here. It's sad, but it's true. The only way I would have seen them live here is if they did all four super attacks, but we only we already missed one. can. Let's go ahead and stand by. We need 11 orbs to get the same amount of support that we would get had we not stand by. Oh, and Bardock is dead anyways. It's <sighs> fine. Yeah, we would have died because Super Saiyan Shiro can't survive that attack post super but i guess let's just see you know how much damage would he take without an additional 15 percent damage reduction what oh wait was it just because the extra support oh i guess it's also because we didn't we didn't really uh, buff janemba's attack that much that was worst case scenario though like we didn't do any attack orders we didn't do any defense orders and and he did he handled himself. Now will we handle ourselves again? Hell no. Do you need one or do you need multiple? You need multiple for that. Okay. I still think he's he's more I think still think they're more reliable than Gohan. God damn you, Vegeta. Stop dodging the normal attacks. Because <laughs> all that does is stop us from getting damage reduction. And then we're going to die because we don't have it. And you missed the digital super. Forty percent odd chance. Forty percent odd chance. Forty percent odd chance. Forty percent odd chance. <laughs> it's funny because I think Gohan would have probably lived it there. He had a. He would have had a fifty percent odd chance. Oh mother! <laughs> oh, that is holy. Please save me. If, it, if we don't get the same rotations, we'll pause again. This... A, it could be fun. This could be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put Brats in Salt 1 and let them deal with this.
Yeah, dodge now. Yeah, dodge now. Dodge now. Yeah. It's fine. Next rotation, we have Super Saiyan Trio. We'll just do a standby again. As long as we can bring Janemba below 70% HP, we can have the um, stats all ready for Super Saiyan Bardock. We're gonna get, I think it's two addition. We get two super attacks guaranteed here. We always keep missing that first one though. And then hidden potential is afterwards. If we can get just one more, I think we're in a good standing. Okay, I think we're good. k defense with half of his links active prepare for battle all that stuff super 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 oh. 55 percent damage reduction right now we're doing additional super Attack guaranteed because doesn't Bardock get his additional super attack based off of? I'm looking it up because now I'm curious. I'm sure that he gets it based off of attack or defense or Let me see. Plus an additional 50% attack launches a super attack when the enemy is in attack down, defense down, stunned, or target enemy is sealed. Why are we not doing any additional super attacks? Janemba is... How? How is he not defense lowered? Does it not count as that status effect? The unarmed one? The bottom one? Like the direct bottom one? Does that not count? That's literally the only thing I can think of that that just doesn't count. Fine, we still got our attack and defense up. Yep, and now it's almost guaranteed dodging. I really hope we're below 70% HP because I don't, if we're not, I might have actually just screwed us and, and made it where um, we're not dodging. But Gohan might just kill, honestly. Ah, yeah, we're killing. His guaranteed additional super attack afterwards, and it's like a 20 million super.
All right. Well. Really? That's not enough HP? I just want to see Bardock's attack stat when he has all of his stuff active. So he's going to have literally every single ability of his active right now. Six million. Hey guys, look, we got the final blow. <laughs> so right there, because Janemba was below 40% HP, we had... Um, seventy percent damage reduction. We had max crit, which is a crit of. Oh no, that's 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 not. That's, he doesn't get additional crit from that. Oh no, he does. He does. They just separated it for some reason on the on the Dokkan wiki. So he gets. An additional 150% attack if the enemy is below 70% HP and he gets in a 30% additional crit. And he gets an additional 150% extra attack if the enemy is below 40% HP and an additional 30% crit. So he had 90% crit chance right there. Because he starts off with a 30% crit chance, right? He also got an additional... No, I don't even think he had the additional 50% attack for having the enemy in a defense attack stunned or sealed state but whatever i'm crying it doesn't matter anyways we'll go on and stop there thank you for watching hope you guys all have a great week hope to see you guys in the next one actually let's go on the stage first but yeah uh let me know what you guys think about bardock um does he help this team no <laughs> he does not Anyways, well, the only real, real way that I could see that this guy would be usable is if in the next, the next big bad event that comes out during the anniversary, you can somehow attack, defense, stun, or seal the enemy, and the first stage is easy, so you can guaranteed get that delivering blow on Bardock, and then get that additional super attack for the rest of the battle, at which point he would possibly be a decent slot 3 option. Until that point, though, I don't think he's good. Uh, thank you all for watching, though. Hope you guys all have a great week. See you guys in the next one. Peace.